these are the few criteria for diagnosis of the right ventricular hypertrophy for right ventricular hypertrophy uh, you need not remember all these just uh, remember few of them like this first one or uh, ratio of r and s wave in v1 more than 1 and uh, second one you can remember as uh, s wave in v5 and v6 more than equal to 7 mm or we can also remember qr in v1 and r of the s wave in v5 v6 less than equal to 1 if we see the heart like this this is a septum this is the right ventricle due to the hypertrophy of the right ventricle whenever this is the first septal activation then there is a activation of the left ventricle then it goes to the impulses goes to the base so whenever there is hypertrophy of this uh, there will be increased r wave and it will be as good as s wave in v1 okay and similarly in v6 the r wave will be small in size as compared to s wave so as we have seen in normal ecg we find and the amplitude of the r wave increases from v1 to v6 and the amplitude of s wave decreases from v1 to v6 and but in uh, right ventricular hypertrophy the r wave will be more in v1 and more or we can say equal to s wave in v1 and gradually its size decreases uh, when it reaches to v6 so remember uh, these criteria the ratio of r wave to s wave in v1 more than 1 mm more than equal to 1 or we can say qr uh, in v1 and third one rs uh, ratio of r of leak s wave in v5 v6 less than 1 or we can say d pass if we find d pass wave in v5 v6 more than 7 mm it is suggestive of right ventricular hypertrophy the sensitivity and specificity of these criteria is shown as the r by s in v1 it has a sensitivity of 98% sorry specificity of 98% but the sensitivity is only 6% similarly qr in v1 it has a 99% specificity this r by of leak as wave in v5 v6 it has a specificity of 93 similarly d pass wave in v5 v6 it has a specificity of 90% if we see the sensitivity these are very less so this this is not a, a gold standard to find out the exact cause of uh, exact right ventricular hypertrophy we have to do 2d echo that is a gold standard to diagnose the right ventricular hypertrophy ecg just gives you the